You're probably watching this either because you're in a business where the products aren't moving, or maybe you're about to start a business and you wanna make sure that your inventory gets sold. Well, you are in good hands today because we are about to dive into the insane power that ChatGPT has to help you make those sales. And keep on watching until the end because I'm gonna give you two super powerful tricks that you could use on ChatGPT today right after watching this video. But before we get into it, hey guys, what is up? My name is Michelle Bally. I am a creative strategist and I am your host for today's video. If you guys are entrepreneurs, aspiring entrepreneurs, or maybe you work at a job that requires you to be savvy in marketing and e-commerce, then definitely consider subscribing because here on Learn with Shopify, this YouTube channel is gonna give you all the knowledge that you need in order to grow an online business. Now, without further ado, let's get started. ChatGPT is capable of some pretty amazing things. You can get it to help you write copy, a marketing plan, and even a full strategy of how to run an entire business. But the content that it gives you is only gonna be as good as the prompts that you give it. And what I mean by that is when I first started using ChatGPT, I would ask it very simple and generic questions like, give me ideas for a digital marketing plan for selling X, Y, and Z product, for example. That prompt is good, but it's not great. And a good, not great prompt only gets a good, not great response. So how do you inspire ChatGPT to give you great responses if you are trying to sell out of your products? The first thing you want to do is assign roles. Assigning a role to ChatGPT and to yourself gives the AI clear expectations in terms of what kind of responses you're after. For example, you could ask it to teach you about how energy in the body works, right? It might go into detail about adenosine triphosphate, but what if your target audience is a kindergarten class? So that is where assigning roles comes in. So let's apply this to our needs. So you could say something like, you are e-commerce king on YouTube. I am a student that wants to learn from you. Give me step-by-step -step instructions on how I can sell out of my Japanese denim brand with $20,000 to spend on Facebook ads. Here we can see it is educating me leveraging key techniques that only someone in the industry would know. So like, look here, it's going into detail about how I can make my budget go further and make the most money possible by stressing the importance of A-B testing within Facebook ads. And it's even encouraging me to keep pumping money into ads that are showing high ROAS and low customer acquisition costs. So that is some pretty good stuff. You kind of have to be in the e-commerce slash media buying world to know about this stuff. And it's really taking on the tone of an e-commerce expert, which is super cool. But let's find out what would happen if we used the exact same question without assigning roles. Okay, so I'm gonna say, give me step-by-step -step instructions on how I can sell out of my Japanese denim brand with $20,000 to spend on Facebook ads. And because I didn't give ChatGPT a role or a persona to embody, it's giving me some pretty generic advice. It doesn't feel tailored to my needs and I would definitely not feel confident that I could sell out of inventory with what it's giving me here. So whether that is e-commerce king, Toby, the founder of Shopify or Barbara Streisand, you can get ChatGPT to take on the persona of an expert that you look up to in your niche to get very detailed advice tailored to getting your products flying off the shelves. It's kind of like getting a free strategy session with your dream coach. Probably not Barbara Streisand though. Love her, but probably wrong niche. <laughs> okay, quick break here. If you guys do not have a Shopify account and you wanna create one, we have added a link up here in this video where you can click and activate your free Shopify trial. It only takes a few minutes and it could be the first step to something really big. So join our community of millions of entrepreneurs today. Just remember that you guys have the power to give yourself the life that you've always dreamt of. All you need is the willpower to do so and a Shopify account. But also, if you are a total newbie and you have no idea where to start with your business, maybe even how to run your first Shopify store or how to generate sales, then we have created a very special course designed to take you from first day to first sale. It's kind of like a modern day MBA, but online. And also, did I mention that this is actually absolutely free? Some business gurus are gonna be selling their business courses for hundreds, if not thousands of dollars online. And what you get does not even come close to what you would learn in this value-packed course. So click the link in the description box to gain access if you aren't interested and you can take us later. <laughs> 
Now, whether you are using ChatGPT to strategize a really great email marketing plan or a content calendar that's gonna get products flying off the shelves, you're gonna wanna know about this prompt. I think you're gonna find this really helpful. Try getting ChatGPT to come up with its own prompts. The reason this is so successful is because you go into the conversation being like, how can I help you help me? And what happens is, instead of giving it prompts you think it will find useful so that it can provide you with valuable answers, now you will be providing it with prompts you know it will find useful. This will give you valuable answers that will help you actually achieve your goal of selling out products. Let's just talk about how crazy this is for a second. I am so impressed by what AI can do. And guys, the results are even crazier. If you wanna do this for yourself, this is the prompt that you would need, so check this out. Basically, I said, I need you to create some prompts for me. They should be designed to help me reach the results I need. Start by asking me questions, continue to ask me questions until you have enough information. You guys can literally pause this, screenshot this prompt, do what you gotta do because trust me, this is gold. Okay, then it asked me what the result was that I was after. And then I said to sell out of inventory of my Japanese denim brand. Then it started asking me questions to collect the information that it needed. I answered in sequence for clarity and it gave me this beautiful list of prompts I could ask it in order to reach my goal. And look at these guys, they are extremely thoughtful, detailed and valuable prompts. Honestly, I probably would have just come on here and literally asked it, how do I sell out of inventory of my Japanese denim brand, right? Like that makes sense. But if I were to type in that question, it would have given me this very generic response. So to play devil's advocate, Let's put this to the test and see if we get a better response with any of the prompts that it recommended us to use. So I'm gonna type in here, how can you leverage social media platforms among Gen Z to showcase a Japanese denim pants brand and engage with potential customers? This response, guys, is way more actionable. The other response was giving us advice like understand our target market and create an e-commerce store. Like, duh, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> but this one is mad specific. It's like, forget Facebook. Gen Z uses Snapchat and they use TikTok and also use UGC because Gen Z loves that, right? So it's a lot more tailored all because we did get ChatGPT to generate its own prompts. It really does know itself best, obviously. So hopefully this fun little trick is gonna be helpful to you. So I've started doing this thing where I get you guys to comment down below your Instagram handle so that I can go onto your profile and click through to your e-commerce website and give you live feedback on your website. And today we're gonna be looking at the Sublime's e-commerce store and that's Kyojin Clothing. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. But yeah, this store owner is saying that his conversion rate has been sitting at around 1% and Facebook ads just aren't as profitable as they once were for him. So let's see if we can help. Right off the bat, I gotta say, I love how niche this brand is. It is appealing to an audience that hits the gym, but is also into anime. And I am sorry, that is a genius niche. Now, one thing that I might do to increase your conversion rate is to make your product photos appear more uniform. Right now, it looks like maybe you're using drawings of your apparel on some of your product pages, and then some are shown in a studio and others are shown on the grass. So I would use all studio photos if you can. Uniformity in your product photos is so important because it gives an air of professionalism, which makes customers feel like they can really trust you. All right, guys, so that has been another episode here on Learn with Shopify. If you have not already subscribed, make sure that you're doing that right now. My name is Michelle Bally, and I cannot wait to see you guys in next week's video. Peace.